Before you came round, my heart would never be much faster. Before you came round, I was ready to slow down. Before you came round, I was heading for a small disaster. Before you came round, I was ready to blow me down. Okay, so I'm taking the Olive Miracle Edge Control Cantu Twist and Lock Gel, the yellow bottle of Gorilla Snot, and I'm also going to be taking some Eco Styler Gel. This is the hair that I'm going to be using. I purchased this hair from my local beauty supply store. It was $4.99 a pack, and I used three and a half packs to do my hair. So as you know with Marley hair, the strands already come pre-separated for you. And as you can see, this Marley hair is a different texture. It's more softer, it has more ripples in it. And I actually like that because it was easier to twist and it felt just like my natural hair. I'm going to be cutting my hair in half right where that rubber band is because I don't want my twist to be long. I want them to be more shoulder length. If you do want your twist to be longer, just don't cut it in half. But I'm not trying to be up here twisting all day, so I'm cutting it in half. I'm so beat to sound, loud enough to quiet the thunder. So for each twist, I use two of my little half strands, and now I'm about to show you how I comb them out to prepare them for twisting. I just take my comb and literally just comb it out. This helps give your twist that fluffy look. And I use two of the strands per twist, like I said, cause I didn't want these twists to be chunky, but however you want, if you want your twist to be chunkier, you can use more. So I'm kind of trying to show you how I got the length. I took two of my little half strands and I overlap them and I just adjust them until it's the length that I want my twist to be. It's kind of hard to explain, but just watch what I'm doing and you'll get the gist of it. But this is how I got my hair to be the length that it is just by taking the two strands and overlapping them. And once you do that, you're ready to start twisting. So I take my hair and I use my fingers to section it. I don't really do boxes or squares or diamonds. I just do random parting. So I'm going to take my hair, section it off with a clip, and I'm going to be taking my little broken comb. Don't talk about my comb. <laughs> and I'm gonna be combing out the ends of my hair to get all those knots out. And then I am going to snip my ends because they were looking a little a little ratchet so I snip my ends and next I'm going to be taking my edge control and I'm putting that all over my roots the edges whatever you want to call it and then I'm taking the Cantu twist and lock gel and I'm putting that on the ends of my hair and just working that through so next you want to go ahead and overlap your pieces like I showed you before to get your length and I'm just checking it to make sure that they're gonna fall where I want it to. Like I said, you'll once you do it, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. I can't really explain it, I'm not a professional. But I'm gonna be braiding this into my hair. You can twist from the root if you prefer, but I'm not that good at it. Whenever I do it, it's just not tight enough, so I just prefer to braid and then begin twisting. And don't worry, I know I'm talking while I'm braiding, but I am going to slow it down so you all can see exactly how I attach the braid to my hair. But I'm just braiding it down until I feel like it's secure enough. And then I'm going to split my hair in half. And then I'm going to be twisting it. And while I'm twisting it, I'm adding some Gorilla Snot to my fingers. This will help keep my hair tame so it won't pop out of the twist too much because my hair is disrespectful. I could put literally an entire bottle of gel on that one strand and it's still going to find a way to pop out. But the Gorilla Snot did help a little bit. And I'm just twisting it all the way down to the ends. So when this happens, when one side is longer than the other, you just split the longer side in half and add it to the shorter side and continue twisting. Make sure you twist all the way down just to make sure your twists don't come loose because that could be annoying after you dip it in hot water and like the next day your twists are unraveling. So just make sure you twist as far down as you can and twist it as tightly as you can. 
and you could just snip off the scraggly end so that way you won't have to do it later and that is it that's your twist so here I'm showing you how I braid my hair I have my hair in one hand the extensions in the other and I'm just crossing them over each other doing a normal braid please just watch what I'm doing because I suck at explaining when it comes to doing braids or anything so pause rewind whatever whatever you gotta do I'm sorry but you know I slowed it down for y'all though so y'all can at least see but I'm braiding down until my hair feels secure and then I split it in half and just begin to twist it and I'm taking my gorilla snot I took a lot that's a lot to me and <laughs> I'm twisting that in with my hair to keep my hair my natural hair tamed in so they don't stick out the twist and you can't see where my hair is and the Marley hair begins <laughs> And just remember to twist all the way to the ends as tightly as you can. Snip off those raggly ends and that is it. As you can see, my twists are secure. They're not going anywhere. This is what they look like once I'm all done. Now I'm about to dip them in boiling hot water. So I am going to be showing you all how I do that. I put my water in a container because I didn't want to bring my pot in the bathroom. I just thought that seemed kind of weird. But make sure your water is boiling hot. This is going to make your twist flow better. And this is going to seal your ends to make sure for a fact that they do not come loose on you. Okay, so you have to do this step. Please don't skip this. I'm just going through snipping any ends that I might have missed just to make my twist look even more neater. And then I'm going to take the Eco Styler Gel and rub that through the ends of my hair while it's still wet. This is going to give it a smooth, sleek look. And that is it. It took me about four and a half hours to do these twists. I used three and a half packs of hair, like I said. So this hairstyle was under $20, which made me very happy. But that is it. I will try to do more videos styling these. But till next time, thank you all for watching. Bye.